Hello everyone and welcome. This is the Silent K and today we're going to be playing some HBS Battletech. Uh, but first I'd like to shout out my newest Twitch follower, Higzilla. Welcome to the party. Uh, glad you could join us and uh, like, comment, follow, subscribe, be part of the community. Uh, we are... Um, well, I've got audio. I was watching the last video. I noticed there was no audio from the game. Um, it should be coming through the desktop, but it doesn't say it is. Okay, now it looks like I've got audio. Let me turn that down just a hair. Alright, I hope the audio is good. Uh, sorry for the interruption. And also, I'm glad I was able to get started on time today. Uh, I had installed the Steam app, which I hadn't previously done, and uh, it seemed to have messed with the uh, installation of my Battletech game, so um, I was scrambling to get it re-downloaded in time for the stream tonight. But I'm glad that went off with uh, less of a hitch than it could have been. Could have made me quite late with the way some of those um, time predictions were, were looking. 55 minutes to verify. Ended up only being about 15, so that's cool. And if I recall, we had just finished a battle when we left off, or maybe we had. I believe we had just finished the battle. I started to rewatch the stream uh, before I ran into the whole. Uh, Redownloading fiasco. So, I might be a little less familiar with uh, where we left off than I might otherwise be. And I apologize for that. I try to be the best streamer I can. And I know that we're a small but tightly knit community, but I, I really don't like feeling like I failed you guys. And I think it may have installed on the hard drive, which is not where I wanted it to install, but these loading times are looking like they're going to be ridiculous. Alright, first thing I want to do is check everyone's XP, Receiving. make sure they don't have enough Waiting to spend. For orders. Uh, like Decker here, for example, will take some extra base to hit modifier. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, glitch, I think Ready a good for orders. Closer. Saving up for that uh, level 10 gunnery, I assume. Uh, Lark's Skipper. still out of action for 14 days, looks like. Uh, Medusa go. out of action for 35. Oh, congratulations on the new PC. Um, glad I was the first person you decided to watch when you got it. Um, hope everything's going well for you. Uh, I was just going through everyone's XP and making sure that no one had enough to spend. Uh, let's see, ship upgrades, I think we already have something working. Yeah, it says work in progress. Doesn't tell me which one, though. Unless I'm missing something. Uh, and finally, let's make sure we don't have any repairs that need to be done. Ah, uh, yes, the Centurion is gonna be six days. Because, I guess, things went worse than I remembered them being. Um, Alright, so I guess we don't have any, well, unless, perhaps, let's see what contracts are available. One might be in transit. Uh, nosy neighbors, two skull. Previous service of this land showed nothing of interest. Yeah, there they are. There is they found, we don't want them to have it. Um, okay, yeah, we can stick around and try another two skull mission. Uh, it means waiting six days. That means the financial Network report's is gonna complete, be boss. done. Top not to work, if I may say so. All right, so now we're beating out the uh, the financial report by one day. But we have all this money, and we really need something to spend it on. So, um, hmm. Which one of these gives me better medical? Med Bay 2 requires Beta Pod. Uh, 
900,000, 20 days. Yeah, let's Roger, go ahead and do that so we can work on the med bay next. What this company needs is an imp. This company would be happy for any 100 ton mech. Um, literally any 100 ton mech. Even a primitive Xanthos, I think, would fit in this lance pretty well. It's slow. <laughs> Um, don't know why I'm hung up on Xanthos's lately. The work order you submitted is complete. Could be that I have one in both of my Mega Mac games. Extended 3025 and scored me an imp. Nice. Very nice. So somebody's getting into Assault Mech range. Uh, and somebody else, namely me, is getting into Heavy Mech range. Uh, I'm hoping, actually, you know what, I'm hoping for some good salvage. I will take a hundred and almost 200,000 C-bill pay cut for an extra two random salvage. I know it doesn't seem great, it really doesn't. Let's see, that's 17, that's well over 17. That's 16, 23, yeah, glitch in the Centurion. because everyone else that's worth a hoot is is uh, grounded. Three large lasers and two PVCs, and she stays pretty cool considering. I imagine so, 100 tons is a lot of heat sinks. <laughs> Let's see, three large lasers, that'd be 24 heat, 44 with the PVCs. So even with double heat sinks, you'd need 12 tons to uh, negate just the weapons heat. 12 tons out of 100, and with an all energy layout loadout, I'm saying that's not bad. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've developed 100 ton mechs of my own that have and need well over 12 tons worth of heat sinks, even doubles. <clears throat> Of course, I'm just kind of guessing that you have 12 double heat sinks in it. Um, I don't even know if double heat sinks are a thing in 3025. I doubt it. Which means that you've got to have like 30 tons of heat sinks. That's a bit extra ex ex extreme. Don't know why I stumbled so hard over that word. This place isn't so bad, right? Alright, so where is our objective? Dead ahead, it looks like. In the middle of an open field. Well, I don't see any reason not to just advance. Aye, aye. Oh, we have a contact. Move order received. I've got something. Oh, you have got something. Oh, it's a Jenner. And not even a fully armored one. Ready for orders. Indicator with the large laser and the mediums. Dang, that thing is really evasive, though. Let's see how far we can jump. Not in a great biome for it, but I was hoping for better than 40. Um, no, no. Over here. And that gives us the same option, but with less heat buildup. Extended has tech up to 3055. I'm started at that year. I'm not running double heat sinks, but using things like heat banks and heat exchangers, which is an HBS thing. One lowers heat from weapons, and the other increases the overhead threshold, respectively. Interesting. I'm, I'm vaguely aware of heat banks and heat exchangers um, Got with it. regards to the uh, PS game. I know they're not in they're not in vanilla, are they? I, don't, I haven't seen any. And I'm kind of starting to think I would have. Uh, or have, did I see a heat bank?
But in the meantime, we're just taking some kind of shots at on that one. <clears throat> I may have made a mistake. <laughs> Whoops. Ten. Because I think the lightest on our team is damage minimal. So. Waiting for orders. Everybody getting strength level Dugram duels and other Dugram. Right now he's duking it out with this encounter. Oh, that's bad. Let's see what this guy has to say. Hoser has taken his first wound of the match. Because we can't have nice things, apparently. and 80 and 70 there, 70 and 65, yeah, we're still going after that Jenner, I want those guns off the field, for a busted Jenner, he certainly held out pretty good, I know, like, I'm kind of tripping about how tough this Jenner is being, on it, like, that was good enough, enemy down, oh man, Stressful, and now I still have two mediums in my face and a wounded hoser. Is that? Oh, that's two shadow blocks. And they're both being scary accurate with those auto cannons, so that's less than swell. Commander? I 
see any way for her to be invasive and at a good range and still be able to kill him. That kind of works. Right, Commander. Dual Dugram Squad, indeed. against our three I'm getting all shot up commander critical on the torso receiving you Percentage shots, shots because it's not weapons, a lot of torso or something, or at least create a weapon system. Waiting for orders. All right, Decker, you can try to do something similar. Lifting off. Please be effective at it. I copy. Uh, leg hit was not what I was looking for. We took out one of the SRMs. Reporting so critical good. hit. Damage uh, minor. Is looking weak in the chest. <laughs> Looks like a situation that could use a good Galgooger too. Do you really think a Gelgoogger 2 would turn the tide of this battle? I mean, Gelgoogs are pretty small compared to these mechs, right? Or am I th I'm thinking of Votoms. Votoms are small. I actually have no idea how big a Gilgoog is actually supposed to be. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's the truth. Ah! Ah, I took some shrapnel. Yes, Commander. On the move. Yeah, which is hurting, I noticed. Bye. 
Position confirmed. Confirmed. Okay, so that's another less laser to worry about. That hit something good. Wish it was more, but. Waiting for orders. needs to be falling back. Too bad we don't have forced withdrawal. Yeah, the Kentaro would probably try to bug out if he could. Commencing alpha strike. Maybe shouldn't have alpha striked at 40%, but I'm just trying to get as much damage down range as possible. for that torso. <laughs> defensive as we can be in that mech right now. <laughs> now they're internal on the back too. That got through my armor, and Commander! That centurion just needs to bug out. Waiting for orders. Berzer, I know you're wounded. I need you to come up here and cover. 60s, 40s, 65s. Yeah, we're gonna Affirmative. try to keep wailing on this Kentaro. Hopefully, take it out of the fight. Yeah, you took a head hit earlier on. Um, yeah, it was bad. This mission is not going great for us. Okay, well, we're still soaking as much as we can with the armor that we armor. have, at least. Something like withdrawal, it gives all pilots morale, and getting hit or critted without doing much back will panic pilots and screw up their two hit values. Too much stress, and they'll straight punch out. Interesting. Not worth looking into. Whenever I get to modded. This raid is probably gonna be. So with the large laser, one less saw target. that. So now there's only two of them, or one and a half, depending on how you count. Careful, they're looping around back. Can't there goes that Centurion's like that. right torso again. We just fixed that. We literally just finished fixing that this very day. Looks like we'll be taking a trip somewhere. Everyone looks hurt. Yeah, uh... Wait, when did Glitch take her second injury? I, I only noticed the first one when she fell. Has she gotten head hit? Waiting for orders. She only fell once, right? Coordinates received. Shield arm. 
Yeah, um... Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Oh, man. That's such a silly rule. I kind of understand why they're doing it. Well, there goes the other arm. You can see daylight well, through it my served armor. its purpose, at least. suits where the pilot is in the chest it makes eliminated. no more sense. I agree. Um, the side torso, like the ammo explosion, I understand that's, you know, supposed to be yes, feedback Commander. from the Nero helmet that causes that. Which, I mean, it feels kind of like they're, they just needed an explanation and that was the best one they could think of, and I'm fine with that. It works. Firing. Rear arm. Um, it's a game. You don't have to explain every little aspect using Inflicted some heavy but, damage. Yeah, in this game, with the mechs being the size that they are and constructed the way they are with the cockpit and the head, uh, the side torso Minor damage, you wouldn't Commander. think would cause any damage to the pilot. But there it is. Good to go. Alright, there's one left. We're actually still fully armed. We actually have more armor on our front now than our, got our it. rear, so we might as well use that while we've got it. Affirmative. Nice. Scattering the missiles around. Commander. I did not see CT destroyed. So hopefully we can get a um, bunch of Shadowhawk parts salvaged. The foot? Foot cockpit? I mean, I've heard of people putting ammo there because it's supposedly safer. Alright, so the Centurion lost a large laser. Yeah, I guess it did. Looks like you hit the ammo bin and the detonation bit the pilot. I put ammo in the thing. Yeah. Um, I've got ammo in my legs. It really does work in this game. So we've got two parts. I'm thinking the Kintaro part and a Shadowhawk part. Wait, 2D or 2H? Which one's the 2D? Uh... Three ballistic, one energy, three missile. One ballistic, three energy, three missile. I'm not a fan of the 2H. I'm just not. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, we got them both anyways. As well as an autocannon 5, an alarm 5, some heat sinks, etc. <laughs> Putting ammo on the legs reminded me of that picture you posted on Discord of the mad cat with just a leg full of ammo. Ah, uh, good times. Alright, so. Who's not still wounded? We've got Behemoth, who could get a point of tactics or two. Indirect fire penalty. I don't, I don't know what she's going to be piloting yet, so I don't know for sure. 
Glitch is down, Hoser is down, Lark is down, Medusa is down. Ace Pilot? Or do we save up for Cool Invent? I'm thinking we were going for Ace Pilot. Oh, not reset. Confirm. Training confirmed, Commander. Alright, so with three pilots active, I think it's also that HBS skews the hit percentages of limbs too. Yeah, I've seen that. Uh, I don't know what the exact statistics are, but it feels that way to me as well. Um, arms have a way higher chance than the rest of the body, same as hitting the CT directly, seems less likely than the side torsos. Um, yeah, I don't disagree. It, it does feel like it's um, significantly different Roger from that, tabletop. Plotted. Oh, I hit the wrong dang button. I was trying to hit the back button. Well, I guess we're going to Panzer. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. It was Panzer that I was looking at, right? 440,000. Sure. We've got Lark back in 8 days. We've got the Beto Pod in 15 days. Hoser in 17. Panzer in 19 days. We won't have Medusa or Glitch, but we'll have at least Lark and Hoser. And also, we need to be repairing this guy while we're doing this. Uh, cancel. Let's do this by refitting first. Repair all. And it was... Oh. We didn't damage the large laser. I thought we had. Uh, 192,000 in seven days. Sure. It's right. expensive. I'll More expensive than I'm used to. Planet named just for you. Panzer is is named after Lark. Kind of makes surprised. Okay, so we do have a Griffin, we do have a Kintaro. That means that the Centurion is gonna be the light boy in our in our team. Alright, so seven days, eight days, fifteen days, seventeen days, and nineteen days we arrive. Ah, uh, Panzer. <laughs> Thought I'd broken it for a second. <laughs> I just installed it. I mean, I love tanks too, but I don't say that they're named after me. <laughs> Alright, so Lark is back in action. Also about the large laser, it just got crit, which means that to, to hit penalties during the combat it was crit, otherwise it would say it was destroyed. Okay. I just saw that it was in red or orange or some other color it's not normally written in, and I was like, well, you know, I'm gonna have to replace that, but then we ended up not having to, which is cool. Uh, Med Bay 2, yes please, 900,000, don't care. Sure thing. Need It'll those Med Bays. Orange is damaged, red is blown out. Gotcha. And Hoser is back just in time. For us to. Not yet. Also, we got the beta pod? Yes. Galbaldi beta? I don't follow. You will assist the Restoration Army's efforts to liberate House Decimus. Restoration Army intel suggests that a lance built with long-range fire capabilities could prove advantageous. Okay, so maybe not the uh, Kentaro. The Galbadly Beta in the Discord. Okay, I appreciate that. I'll have a chance to check that out after tonight's stream. With the aid of House Decimus's ground support facilities, Ms. Meyer will carry your lands through Panzer's orbital debris field and drop you on the surface. 
You feeling okay with this, Sumir? Oh yeah, Commander, no sweat. With the kind of navigation support I'll be getting from ground control, I could take us through the field with my eyes closed. What happens when after we're on the surface? Lady Arana wants your lance behind enemy lines. While she leads from the front, you will harass the director at the supply train and target valuable military hardware. She already has a target list drawn up for you. Hold that thought, Lord Madeira. Commander, I'm getting a tight beam communication from the planet's surface. It's Lady Arana, and it looks urgent. I'm putting it on screen now. You couldn't have arrived at a better time. Our forces on the surface desperately need your help. With the support of House Decimus, we're making our final push against the Directorate's last major stronghold. Our forces are fully committed to the attack and we're pushing them back, but the Directorate just seized control of Panzer's only remaining spaceport. With it, they'll be able to call down reinforcements at will. I need someone to take the spaceport's control center away from them. Silent K, that someone is going to have to be you. This means that Miss Meyer will need to carry you through the debris field unassisted. I hope that her skills are up to the task. Well, this day just got more interesting. I'm afraid there's more. Alexander, I've just received a message from Lady Centrella. There's been a major incident on Perdition. It looks like a terrorist action, a chemical attack against the port city of Harlow's Landing. Initial casualty reports suggest some 11,000 dead. Well, gentlemen, the mission that cuts the wheat from the chaff in terms of battle tech. Uh, chemical attack? That sort of thing isn't supposed to happen anymore. Protector Calderon would be inclined to agree. He's claiming that the attack was an act of Davian aggression in direct violation of the Ares Conventions. He's already calling it the Perdition Massacre. For their part, the Davians have denied all knowledge of the attack. Their denials will fall on deaf ears. Calderon won't believe anything that Hans Davian has to say. This is going to accelerate our timetable. We need to retake your throne before the situation gets any worse. If a war was to erupt between the Federation and the Concordat, it could easily spill into the Reach, and we can't afford that kind of chaos. And we'd better get moving. Quite right, I'll brief you more fully when you reach the planet's surface. This will be a rough drop. Bring your best, and may the gods grant you victory. We will all be counting on your success. You heard the lady, Cedric. Best get to it. Meyer, I'm going to go ahead and trust that you've got this. Do me a solid and try not to scrape the leopard's paint on your way down. Yeah, XO, I'll do my best. Alright. Maybe not the Blackjack, maybe not the Vindicator. Since we have Griffin 1S now. Large laser, two mediums, LRM5. And. Decker and the Kintara, where he is hopefully less likely to get killed. Multi-target, medium lasers, SRM6, LRM5. Well, here goes nothing. Like, Davian is so desperate they gassed a random minor periphery state no one knows about, and vice versa. Like, the state really is going to hold anything over on House Davian. Um... I'm not going to lie, the politics kind of go over my head a little bit. Like, I, I recognize that Davian is a major house, but as far as, like, the periphery states, I'm not sure how they all interact. Like, obviously, the Directorate are the bad guys, but I don't know what that other planet really has to do with this. Right. Wheat from the chaff, you say. I wonder which one I am. <clears throat> Just don't ask me to do it again. You won't have to. Restoration strike teams have already joined forces with the second Decimus Fusiliers to engage the enemy on multiple fronts. We have them at a disadvantage, but if they manage to bring in reinforcements, we're in trouble. Engage the enemy, locate, locate the dropship control center, and destroy it. Without ground support, their ships won't be able to navigate the debris field. The Directorate's troops on the surface will be cut off, and our combined forces will sweep them away. Sorry to interrupt, but we've just been intercept just intercepted a transmission from the ADV Coronach. They're requesting navigational aid. It sounds like they're on their way down. If that ship lands, our bid for the system fails. Silent K, I need you to take the control center out before the Coronach touches down. The second can help with that. We have a leopard full of engineers heading your way. 
Commander, I'll need you to clear us a path to the spaceport security headquarters, take out their vehicles, and make us some breathing room. And we'll turn their turret defenses against them. That's the plan, then. We'll use the turrets to cover your approach. As soon as we have the turrets under control, the director will begin firing on them. Use that as a distraction or engage the enemy to protect them. It's your call either way. Good hunting, Commander. You bring down the control okay, center 15 and we'll rounds the before luck. the Karnak arrives. Destroy the garrison units. Six rounds remain. Okay, so serious time crunch here. Acknowledge, Commander. Hostile on sensors. The Directorate in the Oregon Reach is basically like pre-unification Germany. It's a single state that is ruled essentially by a myriad of minor houses and principalities. Okay. I forgot this mission. It's been a long time. Yeah. I imagine it is kind of a revival. Uh, being that this game did come out I copy. three, three and a half years ago, something like that. Be spending this time shooting, but I guess sprinting is the only option. We Roger have. that. These will be highly evasive when they start shooting at us. Literally the first or second most hated mission in the game for me. I mean, I'm, I'm excited for it. Um, a little, a little nervous. SRM carriers. Ooh. Ready to rock. Roger that, yeah, Commander. Let's take out the SRM carriers from as far away as possible. 85% with all of the alarms. That's one down. Okay. One more for the Five rounds is starting to feel pretty doable if we're taking them out that easily. Waiting for orders. Yeah. Um, Receiving you. Same. It's not my favorite. Position confirmed. It's gonna be enough. Apparently not. Ready for orders. Roger. Blues Brothers car destruction physics on the vehicles, right? Some eights, so those are SRMs as well. Tech warriors, show them what you got. Let's see, and then our second objective is over here somewhere. There, okay, so we kind of need to be moving in that direction. It 
70, 85 all around, 85 all around, and we multi target. Guessing 15 LRMs should be enough to take out that bulldog. Just a striker. That looked like everything hit. Yeah, I'd forgotten that was such an effective option. Brawler destroyed. Uh, really good. good to go. Decker. On it. So that should be like 140. Targeting for physical attack. Yeah, Blues Brother is that. <clears throat> Reporting, one less vehicle. Direction, but I'm not sure. Okay, so the turret's probably going to get one more shot off on me. are going to be a real pain for her this turn. Commander. Save the ammo. Also gets You. 
see, that looked like we got more torso hits, even from the side, which... Uh, I, I struggle with the RNG of this game. Fight for the director. The trick to winning a war isn't dying for your country, it's making the other poor bastard die for his. I think that was Churchill said that. Light damage, Commander. What are your orders, Skipper? Wait, who just went? Where? With who? Oh, a trebuchet. I, for one, am a fan of the trebuchet. So am I. It's, what is it, three medium lasers and three, uh, 30 LRMs on a 50 ton frame? That's not bad. I copy. Alright, that's the Centurion down now. Tango down. Here comes the 4G. He doesn't have a shot on me. See now why they say uh, long range mechs are a good choice for this mission. Okay, it looks like you'll have a lot of got. Which I'm fine with if I can just kite them a little bit. Everyone loves a polar biome. Yeah. Um, I'm actually wondering if maybe I'm not over heat sank for this mission, in this biome. Oh, there's the turrets coming in. Sensors impaired. That was a PPC. That's got a smart. Ooh, that was two more PPCs for the trebuchet. Yes, 
Commander. Copy that. Trebuchet's left torso. I think so. 50-50. Save, save precision precision strike for someone that had more guns they could use. Standing by. On the move. Firing all weapons. All right, so that's his SRM. I think I hit something his good. Right arm lasers. Always <laughs> time for precision strike. Yeah, I know. I saw the morale down here, and I'm just like, well, I'm not using it. I might as well. He's within medium rate laser range. He's within auto cannon 20 range. I guess he's concerned about his own. What's up, boss? Ready for orders. tedious and difficult is because the AI basically is a dice roll. In this case, they're ignoring the turrets. You get targeted by the enemies first and render all support going away. You essentially, while well, you have two, essentially two lances of good mechs for the early game to clear out in the time limit. Yeah, um, we've still got nine rounds remaining, so I'm not quite feeling the time limit yet. I mean, we had 12 rounds, and we've taken out the Centurion and the, the General already. Trebuchet's in bad shape, and we've started working on the Hunchy. 
Yes, Commander. Commander? Roger that. Yes, we legged the hunchback. Scored a critical hit. So that's gonna put him back, I think, one for precision strike and one for losing a leg, right? Standing by. On my way. It's on, I know it's only gonna be three missiles that it affects, but targeting for an Alright, that's one of his Scored lasers. A critical hit. <laughs> Good thing Lark isn't in it. <laughs> Him when he's just lying there. Okay, there goes the left torso. That's where he keeps his ammo, right? Pilot incapacitated. That's parts, boys and girls. So we're gonna flop on his back in the water. Ooh, and the dragon just lost an arm, too. still as much of a threat as ever. Where's that dragon his way over here? He's lost his auto cannon, he still has the LRMs, which technically I think do more damage even in this version. Alright, and that's our target I believe. for orders. being, I think we're able to do more good on the trebuchet. Like taking out half of his guns almost. Uh, yep. Good to go. Well, why not? Acknowledged. Kintaro on? Sure. No, I'm not I was thinking Kintaro on Kintaro violence. Take a 
Alright, that's the lag. Solid connection on that one. LRM 15. What are your orders, Skipper? He's got, of course. Now, those two PVC hits to the right torso look like. That's the right torso destroyed by a third. Nice. Much of this is going on. Oh, but there's the left torso. I'm not going to kill them, yeah, I figured it was something like that, but I just I'd missed. recommend that you prioritize targeting the control center, Commander. Ready to rock. Orders? Yes, Commander. And knocked him down, you have no weapons, he's still in really Pilot incapacitated. Okay, so it's literally just the Panther now? Left side, which is not where he keeps his PVC. Okay, this camera, his view is not helpful at all. Yeah, go for his other leg. Why are you aiming for his left arm? There's nothing in his left arm. Just shot right into the dirt. Confirmed. Should be all of them, I think. Skipper. Right. Good to go. Roger. What 
Waiting your order, Skipper. I'm there. Waiting for orders. Moving out. Shooting this thing yet? <laughs> no, it's just kidding. Yeah. Okay, so I guess there's just four bad guys go. to shoot at right now. Affirmative, Commander. Standing by. Oh, is that thing not within our range yet? That's what I want to know. So, is there just the one way up there? Move order received. From the forest, a lance of king crabs. Uh, wouldn't mind taking on one. I feel like we could take one and then solve the bits. It's dead. Ms. Meyer, are you inbound? Roger that. I'm marking an LZ on your screen. Commander, proceed to the designated coordinates for evac. This is Koronok. We've lost you. Nav support is offline. Where are the damned tugs? Without ground support, their dropships won't be able to make planet fall. They'll be torn to pieces if they try. Congratulations. Panzer is as good as ours. And we have you to thank for it. Long live House Decimus, and long live the Arana Restoration. All targets eliminated. Mission successful. That wasn't so bad, actually. I mean, yeah, we took some damage, and I'm glad that we were as prepared as we were. Wouldn't have minded bringing in maybe a heavy, but, you know, <laughs> that's always true. 1.7 million. Griffin took some internals, lost a heat sink. Everyone got 2,000 XP. And we've got three dragon parts. Nice. Our first heavy, sort of. And we can grab a trebuchet as well. And it's the trebuchet or the 4G. And honestly, the 4G... As much as I love them in tabletop, I don't know if the meta here really supports the uh, the close-in attacker. Probably get some parts anyway. Yeah, we got part of the hunchback. Uh, we got two trebuchet parts. Large laser, LRMs, SRMs. Nice. Very nice. You did very well, thank you. Because the RNG was hella good. Usually that mission causes people to drop the campaign. Yeah, I, I was worried about that. I was legitimately worried about this mission. I'm glad it went as well as it did. <clears throat> I'm glad that the bad guys um, focused on the turrets. Or didn't focus on the turrets. Because the, their support really helped. We've done it. Thanks to your efforts, the Restoration Army has broken the Directorate's hold on Panzer. Lord Pierre-Louis Decimus has already pledged his house and his systems to my service. The restoration is growing just as we'd hoped it would. And with his support, you gain territory, soldiers, and a bolstered supply chain. Not a bad deal for you, Lady Arano. Or for House Decimus. The Directorate took a scorched earth approach to Panzer's farmland. Without our ongoing support, the people here would starve. I'm not my uncle, Darius. The restoration gives as much as it takes. The turrets that mission has nearly a lance and a half of firepower combined. Yeah, that was... Like, what, three of those turrets had twin PPCs, and at least one of them had, like, three or four autocannon twos? Which is not nothing in this game, especially when you mass them like that. Like, an autocannon two basically does five damage in this game. But four autocannon twos, that's 20 damage. That's substantial. Uh, that's commendable, but it may not be sustainable. 
I'm fully aware that war has a price, and I expect that price to escalate. But for now, I can afford to help these people, and so I will. And to hell with the cost. It's a victory, to be sure. But we're still a long way from Cor Coromadir, and Directorate Espinosa has only just begun to marshal his forces. Things are going to get a lot more difficult as we push forwards towards Smithen. The Directorate's military capabilities appear to be way out of line with our initial estimates. Somehow they've gained access to weapons and battle mechs that are totally foreign to the Aurigan Reach. Where do you think all this hardware is coming from? We don't know. House of Espinosa has always had contacts in the Inner Sphere. Lady Victoria's personal battle mech is a prototype model that's almost impossible to find outside the Draconis Combine. But this radical new military buildup is something else entirely. Wherever these weapons are coming from, it's a recent development, and a troubling one. It's Star League tech. Hey, Lord Madeira, I'm uh, sorry to interrupt, but there's something here that you may want to see. Actually, you may all want to see this. I found something strange on the Argos nav computer. Why don't I like the sound of that? Because your head is in the right place. I found something weird on the, on the ancient ship is what spacers say in horror movies, usually right before everyone starts dying. Back me up on this, Darius. What was the one what was the one you made me watch the other day with the drones that started eating people? Count Harutomo de Sorrentelli's These Gears Are Teeth. It's a great film, but that's all it is. It's make-believe, Meyer. Dr. Murad, please tell us what you actually found. Well, I appear to have stumbled upon on, onto an encrypted data archive. Somebody hid it away in the Argos secondary storage drive. That's just my best guess, mind you. Star League era encryption software isn't really my area of expertise. My father spent years trying to figure out how to get the Argo back to Oregon space in one piece. He was obsessed with this ship. He felt that it was important somehow. And now, this. I want that archive open, Dr. Murad. I want to know what's inside. With all due respect, Lady Arana, whatever's on that drive was sealed away for a reason. I've heard enough stories about Lost Tech treasure hunting to know that it's a bad idea. So why don't we just leave it well enough alone? Because this archive could contain something of value, and because, as I previously mentioned, we have a personal I have a personal connection with this ship. I believe that this discovery is meant to lead us somewhere, and I intend to follow it. Uh, superstition isn't a valid leadership strategy. Uh, Lady Arano is our client, Meyer. If she wants to check this thing out, then that's what we're gonna do. That is what I want, yes. And thankfully, we can follow this lead and pursue our campaign against the Directorate at the same time. The liberation of House Carosis on Smithen is already the Restoration's next objective, and Lord Simon Carosis was my father's chief, chief technologist. Securing the help we need will cost us nothing that we weren't already planning to pay. Perhaps this is just all coincidence, Ms. Meyer, but I cannot help seeing the hand of fate at work here. Mastiff taught me to pay heed to my intuition, and that is what I intend to do. That's the plan, then. Yes, and shortly thereafter, we will see if my father's intuition about the Argo was justified. As before, I will contact you when we're ready to move on Smithen. For now, I'll take my leave of you. I have nobles to placate and an army to rally. And you have your own contracts to pursue, I'm sure. Yes, we do, Lady Arana. We're keeping busy, just as you asked us to. You all heard her. We've got some time before the next leg of the Restoration's offensive, and our client wants us to make the most of it. Time is money, so let's get back to work. Found a jackpot. Decommissioned griffins. Lots of them. I'll never get them working without the repair with the repair facilities they've got, but between my team and the Argos mech bay, I think we might. You can find them on in the shop here on Panda. That mech you wanted is back online. Trebuchet. Trench bucket. Oh, and I think nobody even got What's more up, hurt Doc? than they already were. Standing by. Let's go to get us more health, piloting, base, base melee hit, and direct fire. Yes, Commander. Called shot bonus, not with the LRMs. Health, maybe. Yeah, one more mission like that and we'll max out our gunnery. Confirmed. Lark gunnery. Training naturally. 
And actually, since it's cheap, might as well go ahead and get that piloting. Mech warrior training complete. Uh, I got a ways to go before I get anything I want here. Gun and guts. Um. I mean. Hey, it was 400 XP. <laughs> I'm, I'm not stressing over 400. That's a fifth of a mission like we just did. Um. But yeah. Um. Gunnery and piloting, you know. And piloting is important too. I can't have you falling down all the nice time. Nice to see you down here in the hole. Alright, so Griffin 1S lost a heat sink. I want equipment. I want heat sink. And in fact. Is that what I want to run with? The LRM5, I think, is just kind of kind of mad on this loadout. You know, nowhere, just this one arm. Okay. And then. I guess almost enough heat sinks to counteract the laser we just put on. <clears throat> so it's gonna run a little warmer. Um, actually, let's go with one more heat sink and an extra ton of armor. not true and you know it. Your two your two anti hunchback shots that you, you took were both standing up if I recall. Might have been the turn that you fell down on the first one, but Okay, three days, yes, we will confirm that. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Uh, I think we can go ahead and scrap the Jenner for a quarter million because we need the money or something, I don't know. Just sort these guys by weight here real quick, because I'm, I'm a little anal like that. And I'm gonna do it the longest, most difficult way possible. <laughs> All right, so we've got seven medium max. That's quite a lot. Do we need a trench bucket? Or the Centurion? Trebuchet has better firepower and movement. Less heat efficiency. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, hey Snyder! Uh, I like the concept of weapon hardpoints in this. If you could just put things anywhere, they'd have felt too much like Omnimax. Um, yeah, but to be honest, it can be a pain in the butt. I'm not saying I disagree with with it. I'm just saying that working around it can be a mighty pain. Um, so let me see here. Um. Three days to get the Griffin back, ten days to get Medusa back. Travelers in need. In the daily briefing, Sumir opens up, uh, brings up an open hail from a nearby ship. They say their crew has contracted a virulent case of the periphery pox, but the local government is preventing them from landing to receive medical care. 
We could sell them some of our medical supplies. It would limit us in the med bay for a bit, but given their situation, I expect they'd pay up. 30,000... 30,000 is nothing. I feel like we're more likely to get a better outcome by giving it away. Minus one med point, plus one reputation. Uh, reduces act still out of action for 10 days. So that's kind of not a deal. Work order is complete. For, Provides variance between the mechs, otherwise they would all be the same. Um, well, I know I had posted on Discord that uh, I was expecting Gemini around 7.30, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up now. Um, sorry if you guys feel shortchanged. Um, <laughs> plus one rep with the faction that by default is automatically allied and cannot go lower. Yeah, I know. That was a waste of a med bay. Or med points. Um, but I mean, it was that or 30,000 sea bills, which is also basically nothing. Um, so we are going to go ahead and wrap it up here. We will save it as Panzer. Um, so yeah, I think that's about all I've got for tonight, you guys. Uh, I appreciate you joining us. Uh, oops, wrong one. <laughs> there we go. Finally the right exit screen. Um, Thanks for being a part of the community. Like, comment, follow, subscribe. Um, link to the Discord is in my Twitch bio. Link to my Twitch bio is in my YouTube. Thanks for the game. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, I live for the support. Uh, <laughs> a little bit of an exaggeration there, but I do appreciate you guys joining me. I, I do enjoy sharing this journey that I'm on, learning this game and, and following the plot that um, everyone's already so familiar with and, and just look the whole thing in general. I'm, I'm just really enjoying this and I want you guys to know that. So, um, we will see you next week for our regularly scheduled Mega Mech. Um, and y'all have a good night. We'll see you then.